Hi guys, Lucia at Lost Pieces here and in this video we'll be planting bulbs for our spring displays. So autumn is actually the best time to plant your spring bulbs because the soil is still very warm from the summer so the bulbs and the roots can actually get all the nutrients and all the goodness from the soil they need to flower beautifully in spring and bring smiles uh, on our faces and bulbs are also a very cheap and easy way how to bring a little bit of color into your garden in spring so bulbs mostly do require and do like um, a lot of sun to be able to grow beautifully so I've chosen a couple of spots in my garden to plant them. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you everywhere uh, because um, just where I wanted to plant, um, our neighboring cat Carlos was just taking his nap. So I didn't want to disturb him, poor guy. So I'll let those be. I'll plant them when he is rested and gone. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll plant up this pot next to our entrance to the garden. Um, as we can see at the moment, we have uh, this beautiful evergreens, so they will be here in, in the spring. So we have little gold crest and little chosia here planted, and this beautiful verbena, which at the moment is full in flower. As you can see, we just love it. Uh, but in the spring, there won't be much going on except for these two. So I'm gonna pop some bulbs in here to bring the color close to our door and and also make the probably quite boring and dull um, spring day bring a little bit of color into it so i've got a couple of bulbs i've got um julipa darwin hybrid mix uh, which is these so uh, red yellowish and pink kind of the traditional type uh, and I also got allium, so mix of allium, so different colors, so from dark purple, um, pink and also white. Um, so I'm going to be doing these. Uh, and also I have a few of our daffodils and hyacinths from last year, which I uh, got out and dried. So I'm going to put these in as well. So yeah, as I said, I'm going to start with the display here first and I've prepped the soil already. Um, I put uh, some organic matter in, um, a little bit of the compost, uh, of my own compost uh, and I probably will do a video on that as well. Um, so make sure you subscribe to my channel, get all the notifications and all the new videos and also make sure you check out my older videos as well. So yeah, I've prepped up the bed. Um, so the bulbs have all the nutrients they need for a good start in the spring. So all we have to do is now just to set up the bulbs in a kind of a random pattern. Um, so we get the, the most of our beautiful display. So what we need to do next is to plant our bulbs. Um, and we plant them with the pointy bits up and the roots down obviously so like this and the rule of a thumb is to plant them about three times uh, the depth of their size so this is about two centimeters so we plant them deep um, in about six centimeters so we dig a hole put them in and if you do want to put some um, bulb starter to to help them to a better start you're more than welcome to do that as well but I'm gonna skip that. Yes, yeah, so as I said, we'll dig a hole. And pop your bulbs in. As I said, with the pointy bits up. then again cover it back 
with the soil. And I do have to say, I didn't plant them as deep, but that's also because I'm planning to add uh, more and more of organic matter and a manure. Um, later on, in a couple of weeks, I'll be doing uh, all of the garden uh, to prepare it for a better spring. And guess what we need to do next? Obviously water them well and keep them moist uh, throughout the winter, not too wet though. And when they start growing in the spring, uh, make sure you feed them well as well and keep them moist again. And the most important thing to remember is after their flower in spring, um, you are more than welcome to deadhead the flowers, but under no circumstances, please do not cut the leaves. This is how the plant is actually getting all the nutrients from the sun, um, through the leaves, through photosynthesis and stores all the energy in the bulb, um, getting ready for the next year again. So they will be, you know, growing happily, healthy and beautifully again next year. So all you have to do is just to let the leaves dry naturally, let it die off. And that means if you have it planted in, um, in your lawn, for example, crocus or uh, daffodils as well, um, just let them dry, do not mow the lawn. And if you have them in, in your borders, just bear with them, you know, just let them die off naturally. It might look messy, but I, I promise you it's all worth it. So don't touch them in the spring. So this was uh, all about planting our bulbs. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you in any way. And I do really hope that you will be planting your bulbs now soon. Uh, and you're more than welcome to share your pictures um, with me if you want and see how you're getting on. Um, leave any comments below if you like. Don't forget to like my videos and also do consider to subscribe if you do like the channel and if it gives you any value as well. So, so until next video, uh, have a great day, enjoy yourselves gardening and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.